Here we go. This is the last what I learned of the year. Can you believe I've been doing this for 52 straight weeks? So this week's entry comes to you from a quick weekend getaway to my old stomping ground, the Mohegan Sun in the wildernesses of Connecticut. And what a year it's been. Without a doubt, I've learned more, shared more about lots of topics. Probably number one on this list was artificial intelligence. We're really just scratching the surface. AI has woven itself into so many parts of my daily life, my work, but as incredible as AI is, it's raising big questions about its future uh, and the challenges that lie ahead. Things like energy consumption, ethical use, the impact of the workforce, and even the possibility of artificial general intelligence. It's thrilling, totally terrifying all at once. We are deepening our dependency on electronics, advanced computing, automated systems, autonomous technologies. But what if it all disappeared and we were thrust back into a time of just people and the earth and the land? Because as fast as the digital revolution has accelerated, it could stop in the blink of an eye. You don't believe me? While I was here, I'm here in this history of the sun exhibit at Mohegan Sun, reading about our actual sun. Everything we have depends on not semiconductors, not uh, cloud computing, but the sun itself. And every so often, the sun emits something called solar flares. Right? These can mildly disrupt cell service, as we've seen, or mess with power grids. It's inconvenient, but manageable. But every so often, the sun will emit a coronal mass ejection, which sounds scary. And it is. These CMEs, they're massive eruptions of magnetized plasma from the sun's atmosphere that can destroy all electrical systems on Earth in under 24 hours. It's like pulling the plug on everything we've built and achieved over the past 150 years, literally sent back to the 18th century or earlier, overnight. But this isn't science fiction. Back in 1859, the Carrington event was the most intense geomagnetic storm ever recorded. A powerful solar flare, uh, a CME, that hit Earth in just 17 hours. And it wreaked havoc on, at the time, our telegraph systems. Back then, there weren't other electronics to damage. And if a similar event happened today, not only would all the electronic slot machines here at the Mohegan Sun go off, but satellites, gone, GPS, gone, internet, gone, airplanes, losing navigation, financial markets would cease to function, supply chains would collapse, AI, the marvel of this age, would vanish in an instant, its lifeblood severed, and server farms, data centers, succumbing to the geomagnetic currents. The reset would be brutal, a stark reminder of just how much we rely on technology, a mass extinction level event for humanity. And while science is awesome and all, there are really no viable forecasting methods, no mitigation strategies for CME prevention. There's no advance notice to shield us from sun's wrath. So we're worried about meteors or asteroids hitting and making huge movies about this, but that's not really the threat. And for CMEs, it's not a matter of if, but when, because they've happened before, just not in electronic age. So that's what I learned this week. Nature always finds a way. And on that happy note, Happy New Year to everyone, especially if you're not on vacation. But for those who are this week, don't forget your sunscreen.